Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about MSTP. MSTP stands for uh, Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol. Uh, just like uh, in our previous videos, we learn about uh, a spanning tree and a rapid spanning tree. And this is the uh, MSTP is also the version of uh, STP where we create multiple spanning tree protocols. And uh, when we create a uh, multiple spanning tree protocol, so uh, we call them MSTIs so in uh, what happened in uh, mstp normal mstp uh, when we create a mstp on switches enable and then uh, one of the uh, switch become the root bridge and other become non root bridge and one of the port uh, uh, get blocked and all the data uh, go through uh, one path and other path uh, remain as a backup so uh, link utilization is not properly done so uh, that's why we uh, use mstp uh, in uh, multiple spanning tree protocol if we, we have the uh, multiple vlans so uh, on in this pc uh, we are running the vlan 10 to uh, 20 and in this pc we are uh, running vlan uh, 50 to 100 so all the vlan data go through one link because the other link is blocked by uh, due to mstp so there is no uh, path available so only one path uh, because uh, the stp block uh, um, one of the port uh, due to uh, avoiding the loop switching loop so we create a multiple spanning tree protocol msti is hand and we enable msti on switch one and uh, this uh, become the active and uh, this become the uh, secondary for this and uh, if we uh, enable msti on switch one so this will act as a backup and all the data go through this one so i show you here so we create a two msti so msti one contain the data of vlan 2 to 10 and uh, which is showing in green and uh, this is the orange line showing that uh, the vlan 10, 11 to 20 data which uh, going through msti 2 so we can uh, we create the msti one on uh, so you can see here msti1 uh, working like uh, this is the root bridge root switch switch a this is the root switch and for this the root switch this will be block port so there is no data path of data go through this and no data can flow like this so only data will flow in this path so uh, msti work data msti1 so we allow the vlan 2 to 10 in msti1 so all the data in msti1 will take this path will take uh, this path and uh, this will act as a backup for msti1 and uh, and we now create msti2 here here in this path and uh, this will act as a backup for msti2 so you can see here we uh, enable the msti2 on this and this become the uh, root switch and uh, this become the block port so all the data in msti2 follow this path so we learned 11 to 20 data flow in this path msti2 and this will act as a backup for uh, msti1 this is the active path and this path is this path is backup path so hope you understand this so uh, now we go towards the configuration and we enable msti on this and this become uh, switch b become the secondary and uh, we create msti2 on switch b and switch 1 act as a uh, secondary for msti2 so uh, we distribute the vlan in different msti so vlan uh, 2 to 10, uh, 10 will take this path this green path and uh, vlan uh, VLAN uh, 11 to 20 will take this orange path so uh, let's go toward the configuration so what is the first step of configuration is uh, we create MSJ region uh, MS MST region for the uh, root bridge on switch A in MSJ1 so here we go in switch A and we just go in system view system view and we change the name sys, sys name as switch A and now uh, we uh, create stp region stp region configuration region configuration here we uh, give the region name as uh, you can uh, use any name of region i am using rg1 rg1 region 1 and uh, uh, now we uh, create the instances now here the command instance 1 msti instance and which contain the vlan from 2 to 2 to uh, 10 so you can see here this command instance 1 msti instance 1 contain the vlan from 2 to 10 and instance 2 which contain the vlan from uh, 11 to 20 so you can see here 11 to 20 11 and 20 not 11 to 20 so remember this is 11 and 20 only two vlans and this is 11 to 20 11 12 13 14 so this is uh, 
okay now we have a command the active region configuration we are activating this region activate uh, this MST region configuration so activate MST region so you can see here the region has been activated so just go in this way we go on switch to and uh, do the same configuration we tell switch to as well that uh, MST uh, instance 1 contain this VLAN and uh, instance 2 contains this VLAN so we repeat this configuration here in switch B and sys name is switch B switch B and now we uh, have a command STP active region configuration sorry region configuration so uh, you can see here last command active region STP region configuration now we are in MS region view and here we create uh, uh, the name of the region name RG1 so you can use any name and we create instance 1 which contain the VLAN 2 to 10 and instant 2 which contain instant 2 which contain the VLAN uh, 11 to 11 to uh, 20 and active region configuration region and quit back and now we go uh, to switch C and D and do the same configuration I am going quick through them system view and now system name is system name is switch C and here we go in STP region configuration region name RG1 ok region name RG1 and now the instance instance 1 VLAN 2 to 10 and instance 2 VLAN 11 to 20 instant 2 vlan 11 to uh, 20 and active region configuration and quick back now we go in switch d this name is switch d stp region configuration region name as rg1 and the instance 1 vlan 2 to 10 and uh, instant 2 VLAN 11 to 20 now uh, active region configuration and quit back now we go on switch 1 and uh, we will configure root bridges and scanty root bridges to MSTI 1 and MSTI 2 in MST uh, region RG1 that we uh, create an active region and uh, give this name as a region 1 rg1 and in this region we uh, we create a active uh, root bridges uh, which is a, a root bridge and scanty root bridge for msta1 so uh, we create here for uh, sorry for msta1 this is the active and this is the scanty and for msta2 this is the active and this is the uh, uh, scanty so we create a primary and secondary so we we'll just go here in switch a and then we create stp sorry stp instance one and this is the root primary so in go in this stp instance one root secondary so this is the secondary and uh, now we here run a command uh, stp instant two root for mst uh, msta instance so this switch b is a primary and switch a will be a secondary so uh, switch msj root is primary for msti2 stp instant 2 this root is a uh, secondary so this is so now we uh, uh, set the uh, path cost for the uh, ports to uh, block the msti1 and msti2 to larger than the default value so uh, we configure switch a to use huawei uh, proprietary uh, algorithm to calculate the uh, path so uh, we have a command to uh, uh, path standards path code standards so uh, we go in switch one for switch one uh, stp stp path cost path cost standards is a legacy sorry legacy and uh, now on switch b as well in switch b stp uh, path cost path cost standard is uh, a legacy now uh, we go in switch c and 
we also uh, do say run the same command so stp stp path cost uh, legacy and here we go in instance the interface uh, giga the interface uh, giga 102 002 so this is the interface uh, 002 and define the path cost so uh, if the data come from the, this site we'll take this path note this path so we increase the uh, this uh, port cost to high so we go here in switch c and we go in ins uh, interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 2 and here we uh, give the command stp instance 1 and instance 1 cost is 2000 20,000 so we increase the, this path cost for instance 1 so instance 1 uh, traffic will take this path so this is a simple uh, command I have run so we go and switch D and do the same stp path cost is a legacy and here we go in interface g0 slash 0 slash 2 and uh, we run the command stp instance 1 cost would be 2000 20,000 sorry so now uh, we go and enable the uh, stp on all the switches still we stp enable in switch b stp enable in switch c stp enable in switch d stp enable now we enable stp on all the uh, switches now uh, we go and uh, we enable the edge port for the uh, end devices and uh, uh, enable BT BPDU protection so this is the optional things uh, either you want to do or not so in uh, switch C so this port G003 G003 we have connected the end devices here so we make this port as a uh, edge port so let's go in this so interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 3 and stp edge port enable edge port enable and quit back and here we have a second command stp bpdu protection so this is the uh, optional command so this is good practice to uh, protect your edge port and bpdus so just go and enable this interface uh, giga 0 slash 0 slash 3 and uh, edge port stp edge port enable and quit back and uh, stp bpdu bpdu protection enable okay now we go in switch a and uh, also uh, in, uh, uh, enable the uh, stp root protection so this is this is the root breach for uh, instance one and uh, this is the root breach to instance two so we uh, also enable the uh, uh, root port protections so uh, we go here and we enable the root port protection so just go here in S one on this port on this port this is the root uh, root port so this is the root port so this we just uh, enable the root here so just interface g 0 slash 0 slash 4 and 0 slash 0 slash 4 and uh, stp root port protection put back and go in switch 2 and just repeat the command 0 slash 0 slash 4 0 slash 4 stp root protection uh, just go and quit back and now uh, we create the vlan so we didn't create the vlan in all the switches yet we just allow the vlan so vlan uh, 2 to vlan batch 2 to uh, 20 so just uh, write this command vlan batch 2 to 20 so just go here vlan batch 2 to 20 vlan batch 2 to now uh, we create the VLAN on all the uh, switches so now uh, we just go in interfaces and make these interfaces uh, uh, as a trunk and allow the all the VLAN on all the interfaces of the switch A on this interface where uh, we allow all the VLAN just go here G004 uh, port link type is a trunk so it will carry the data so port trunk allowed pause vlan or 2 to 20 so all the vlan are passed through this uh, port so uh, now we go uh, in switch b and uh, do the same interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 4 and uh, 
port link type is uh, trunk and two to twenty and go back now uh, we create the VLAN so now uh, we go in switch C and D and also uh, make this port as a trunk so uh, we go here and we also allow all the VLAN on this port and uh, we allow just one VLAN to this uh, port so we just go here interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 4 1 1 port link type trunk port trunk allowed VLAN uh, 2 to 20 20 and we also uh, we go in uh, port 3 sorry 3 and port link type is axis and port default vlan is uh, uh just you give any vlan where if we are giving here the vlan 2 so we give this vlan as a vlan 2 now we go in switch d and uh, do the same configuration in the above vlan interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 1 port link type trunk port trunk allow vlan uh, 2 to uh, 20 and we go here in vlan uh, 3 and port uh, link type access port default vlan is 11 so just go and uh, display stp so you can see here so we create a just mstp so you can see here display mstp display stp brief so you can see here the bpdu protection is enabled display stp interface instance a few question marks so just give the name so instance one so you can see here this is the uh, specification of instance ones currently the g001 is in a uh, forwarding state so this g001 is forwarding state so this is the uh, configuration of msgp so if you want to uh, communicate from this pc to this pc this pc take the path from this side so this is all about the configuration of msgp i am not uh, communicating this pc but uh, we are we have been created all the instances and this is the uh, configuration of msgp hope you like the configuration so uh, so you can uh, give the ip on this router and this pc is so you can communicate and trace route take the trace route so a vlan data will pass through this and uh, other vlan data will pass 11 vlan data will pass through uh, this side so thank you very much hope you like the video thank you